I sit in the living room of 38 Parkvale waiting for after school to start. And all I could think was, how is this gonna go? The first week of internships was fully remote and seeing the kids on Zoom felt weird. The connection would cut off every two minutes it seemed and I could barely make out what they were saying. By the end of Friday, I could feel nothing but frustrated after two weeks of being cooped up at home. However, given that St. Stephen's would be moving to a hybrid model the following week, I thought, okay, things can only look up from here. So next week came and I finally got to see St. Stephen's. It felt refreshing to see the place and actually walk around for a change. Seeing all the great artwork in the classrooms was certainly a highlight and getting to meet the staff in person felt real. The rest of that week and the next felt pretty good. I would go in to help kids with their homework in the mornings and return home for virtual after school. But then February break came. The kids had no school, which meant I was stuck at home for another week and really had no clue on what to do for my special project. I knew that teaching music would be a big part of it, but the question was, when would I actually start? Will I ever see the kids in person? Nevertheless, I brainstormed ideas and made the best of that week as I possibly could. Then next week we went back to hybrid mode. So things felt quote unquote normal again. But that week my mentor told me that we would go fully in person starting the following week on March 1st. As excited as I was to hear this news, I had really liked this hybrid mode of going in person but also having my alone time at home. It felt like the best of both worlds and I thought, can anything top this? But alas, March 1st came and that week was all about games. I was in a classroom with Diego and Jabin. They were playing Uno, a classic. And suddenly, Jabin accused Diego of cheating. You're cheating, you're cheating, Diego burst. Uh, you're cheating, you're cheating. Diego burst into tears and I thought, oh my God, is this my life right now? But I quickly shoved that thought away and sat back to the present moment. Diego needed my help. So I suspended the game and walked, to, and walked Diego to a corner of the room. I patted his head and assured him that he didn't cheat. Later that day, I saw a boy wearing a bright blue Sonic shirt. It was Diego, of course. He was everywhere. And next thing I knew, he put his arms around me and gave me a big hug. Marco, I missed you. At that moment, I froze because it had been a long time since someone had given me a hug, or at least it felt that way. All that frustration of transitioning from one week to the next had melted away. And all I could think about was how grateful I was for Diego and for being fully in person. I made it, I thought. I persevered. It was all worth it and I belong here. Thank you.